Oh, okay, YouTubers, I got an update for you on my little solar system. Um, I recently added two more batteries to my bank uh, to bring my uh, amp hour capacity up from, uh, from 330 amp hours all the way up to 440 amp hours. Again, I'm using the Optima AGM uh, seal batteries. Um, uh, they're dual purpose. And uh, I also added some uh, wooden planks underneath. I noticed that those little, you know, these little rails here were just uh, not too, well, they, were, they would hold up the batteries, but there was a little bit of a sag. And I just went to Home Depot and grabbed some, a couple of planks and uh, cut them up a little bit and uh, kind of, uh, you know, made a little uh, platform for the batteries. And, you know, they looks like they're going to do pretty well. I also, uh, in the interest of, you know, more safety, I've also added this 60 amp breaker. Um, again, you know, safety, because yeah, I've seen this this battery monitor, you know, as far as ampers, right now it shows uh, negative, uh, well, it's, it's taking uh, 0.4 amps out of the bank, and that's for this, you know, to keep this inverter into, in a sleep mode. Um, you know, it's basically half an amp. But anyway, I've seen these this amperage jump all the way up to, you know, well over 60 amps. So, and again, you know, we, you know, we want to, you know, use renewable energy and so forth, but we also want to be safe. So this, I've installed this, I went to, uh, you know, Home Depot basically and grabbed a uh, 60 amp breaker. That's pretty much all I, I guess I need because uh, the uh, amperage shouldn't get, you know, higher than, you know, within, you know, 60, 70 range or something like that. Again, for safety sake, we've got the battery disconnect, we got the breaker. Um, and again, I added a couple more batteries, uh, did some labeling, um, especially here, you know, cause you know, just in case somebody gets the urge to plug into this particular, uh, you know, outlet, you know, as opposed to this one. <laughs> okay. Again, just labeling like this right here again is this uh, for the transfer switch. This right here, this receptacle will, uh, will be for circuits A, B, and C. And this one right here will be for D, E, and F. Okay, and that would kind of give me my uh, two phases that I need for the transfer switch. Uh, I went to Home Depot and I also bought one of these emergency LED lights. And what it does, it auto senses if uh, there is a power outage. And what happens is this LED light will come on and, you know, give me some emergency lighting. It also doubles as a regular flashlight too. So as soon as the power goes out, then this will come on and I can, uh, you know, I can uh, have some light to do whatever I need to do. Um, I also did some other things, you know, something, you know, that I think is pretty important. Just, you know, if I wasn't home again, we have the transfer switch. We have a circuits, a B, C, D, E, and F. And, you know, it'd be a good idea to have some type of placard or something letting people know or whoever know, um, exactly, you know, uh, you know what what each circuit is so you can't see it but basically I've got each circuit listed here and also just as a point this is how many uh, things I'm running off of my I could run off of my transfer switch in, a, in, the, in the event of a blackout so I have one room two room three room four room and pr plus the freezer uh, hot water heater garage uh, garage door the foyer area area in my house the front porch light and my home office so that's all of the items that I could actually run off of my uh, my solar backup system. Again, if you don't have a transfer switch, I would you know I would kind of advise you to get one to kind of help out. At least you won't have to um, you know uh, drill a lot of uh, cut a lot of holes in your wall putting external outlets. Just use the uh, infrastructure or the outlets that you you currently have. You know, and um, basically, and also err on the side of caution and, you know, get as many breakers as you need to to protect your home. But again, that's all I have for an update. And uh, uh, see you guys later. And, uh, you know, if you got any comments and so forth, uh, questions, uh, shoot me a line. All right. Take care.